He gave himself distance and time. But when he had Povetkin hurt, he gave himself the room. He didn't smother his work, and that's why he was able to land the clean finishing shots. It was an excellent performance by White. We spoke about it a lot before the fight, about any mental demons that might have been hanging over from that first fight. Tonight, though, uh, just what would Dilly be feeling now? Just that they want some truth being put to bed? So I think uh, Dillian needed to prove it to himself, forgetting about us, forgetting about his team. And that's the kind of guy, that's the kind of individual he is. He needed to prove it to himself. So I think for the first 30 seconds, the first round, yes, he was apprehensive. He thought, I'm not going to make this mistake. I'm not going to make this mistake. And he had to drill it, into, drill it into himself. But then he thought, right, I've got him now. I'm not going to let him off the hook like I did the last time. This is what he was saying. He was texting me saying, this is what I'm going to do. I am going to jump on him that every time I get the chance to get him, well, I said, keep it long, mate. You keep it long, mm -hmm. you're beating him up. And uh, he, the, the finishing shot was like spot on. I'm so, so happy for him. And, he, and he, I'm sure he'll be thinking that himself too. Uh, the question was put to Eddie Hearn of, of who he will face next. I'm not sure Eddie answered that question. Obviously, mm -hmm. the world title is the end goal. Who would you like to see him in next? Well, it's cup? difficult to say who he's going to fight next because he's not mandatory now yeah. for the WBC. He's, he's got to wait for Fury and AJ to see what happens there. Wilder's sitting back. Nobody kind of fully understands what Wilder's up to, what he's going to do. I think that's a dangerous fight for White, but one that I think he can win. Eddie's talking about putting him out in the summer with a potentially, I don't know, maybe a mark time fight against who? There's not that many heavyweights really who are, who are really going to want to jump in with, with White unless they're just getting paid well. And, and the, the as fans, we don't really want to see that, but maybe he deserves that. And the problem is he's been doing that. This is why he, what this is, he's been in fights where, where you're thinking you're taking a risk when you don't have to. Yes, he's done the right thing not hanging about waiting for his opportunity, but he's willing to get in with everybody and anybody and, and roll the dice. Uh, yeah, this is Ruiz. That's why uh, we like him. Yeah, that's that. Yeah, there's, there's Ruiz. That's why he's the people's champion. There's Wilder. So, so now you've got these three sharks swimming around the two champions, as in, as in uh, uh, Joshua and Fury. These three sharks swimming around. Are they going to fight each other? We don't know what Wilder is doing, what his intentions are. Ruiz is talking about uh, 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 his, uh, the name slips me. Uh, it's an opponent. So, so Dylan's there saying, "Look, boys, I'm here. Come, let's let's play." That's the thing. In terms of the heavyweight picture, where does this now put Dillian? It puts him up there. It puts him up there in the top five in the world. You know, top four in the world. It puts him up there. And we can argue who, who else belongs in that pool, but it puts definitely, him up there. Definitely, definitely top five. And I, I like the Ruiz fight. You know, we saw what he did to AJ. Saw what happened in the rematch. And the Wilder fight is an exciting fight that we want to see. Um, but I think now he needs, he needs a rest. He's on a long wait for that fight, for that rematch. 20-week camp, as we talked about earlier. Now he's got that job done. He can just sit back and relax and know that he's put himself right back in the driving seat.